Hey guys, it's Buddy with Real Fun Fishing Southwest Florida. If you've been liking my videos, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications. Today I'm going to be doing my 10 hour service, as you can see on my hour meter that I installed on another video. It says 10 hours. Here's the oil filter. Here's the part number from the one that I'm changing. This is for the 40 horsepower. Uh, four stroke outboard. Okay, first thing first. You got to take this plug out and drain the oil out. It's an 18 millimeter socket, is what I'm using. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. Uh, let me grab some rags real quick. All right, let's go ahead and start taking this out. It is going to stream out quite a bit, so go ahead and get your thing ready. I really should be wearing gloves, but I don't care. And boom. And as you can see, I got a piece of cardboard down here to catch whatever I miss. I believe it's three quarts that go in here, but I'm going to fill it slowly so I can see what's going on. This is also the first service, so I'm going to be checking to make sure that um, there's no metal shavings or whatnot in here. There we go. There goes the last little bit. Like I said, that was going to be... And what I like to do is I take a full rag and shove it all in here so that way this won't come out and get oil everywhere. No matter what, you're going to get oil in here though. It's the worst thing about changing oil. Oh, it gets everywhere! <laughs> Probably gonna end up using my goddamn channel box because there's no way of getting that in there, really. My other oil tools over there, and I can't get to it right now. Come on, come on. Damn, they put these tight now. From the factory. And I take the oil. I re rub the lining.
you just do it hand tight. A nice good man hand tight. Make sure you get all the oil on there. Oh, cool. Didn't even drip that much. Okay, and then I let this fin open, and this fin open, get all of it out. Go ahead and wipe down the motor. Get all four of them off. And then we put the plug back in, first off, so we don't waste our oil. Alright, that's too oily. Okay, make sure you use gloves when you do this. Yeah, you can. The gear lube I definitely will, because that stuff don't want to come off. And now we just got to fill it full of three quarts of the marine oil that I got over here. I'll show you in just a second. Don't keep that down. Here's the marine oil that I'm going to put in. It's the 25... W40, and I always get all the Quicksilver stuff. So we'll go ahead and I'll get my funnel, and then we'll go ahead and put that in, and I'll show you the rest of what I'm going to do on my 10-hour service with my 40 horsepower Mercury outboard. Yep. All right, now I'm going to put in my uh, four-stroke marine engine oil, 25 weight by 40, and I'll put in probably two and a half quarts or so, and then I'll wait for it, and then I'll top the rest off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll get back with you. All right, now we're going to drain our oil back into the jug that we had. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it slowly and try to see the shavings. If there is any, see how there's little light dots? There's really no shavings in here at all, but I'm going to wait till I get to the very end and see what's left in the pan. That's why you don't want to do it very fast and shake it all up. But no, it doesn't look like there's a lot of shavings in here at all. That's more grass dust from me mowing. And we just pour it back in the jug. And we'll see. There's a lot of metal shavings. Because if there is, then... See, and then I'll stop like right about here. See, you need to look in the light. Because this is the first service. If there's a lot of metal shavings, like see, there's not a lot in this one. I mean, I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's not a lot of glitter to it. If it looked like there was a bunch of glitter in there, that'd be real bad. But hey, looks like the motor did good. For the first service and I do that on the 100 hour service too because I like checking multiple times I do not want metal shavings in there that's a good sign of your motor starting to go bad all right well I'll go ahead and top this off and then I'll go ahead and show you how I do the gear lube here in a second all right and now for the gear lube there's a small flathead screw down here that you got to open and then your vents up here so I like cracking the vent first which dang wasn't tight at all that's not good mercury and then I do this one next 
Oh, that wasn't tight at all either. Always make sure this seal you got is a good seal. You know what I mean? Like, since it's only a 10 hour service, it's only been on there a little while, I'm gonna put it back, but like say if this was my 100 or 200 hour service, I would just go ahead and buy a new O-ring. It's worth it so that way no water gets inside your gear case. This doesn't seem too milky or nasty, so that's really good. No water in there, baby. And then this is your fill tube right here, I believe. But okay, so make sure that you don't try to fill it through the vent because it's not going to do very well. It just pressurizes. You do have to take that side off. Now, I just close up the vent. Make sure I don't cross thread the screw at all. Nice and tight. And then I do it like a little pump afterward just to make sure it fills all the way up. Because I don't even care if it leaks out a little over here when I open this. Now be careful, this might pressurize up because it's threaded in. So you don't want to pop it open and have it spray all over you. So watch your face. Yeah, you hear the air? And you just got to be careful. Because on my other outboard, I could do it from the vent side. And as you can see, it does leak down. That's, that's when you know you're doing good. When it leaks down a little like that. I need mean, you got plenty in there. Okay. Tighten this one up. Make sure you wipe it all down. And that's pretty much all you got to do for your first 10 hour service of your 40 horsepower Mercury four stroke outboard. See you around.